All right, so looks like we unlocked two new areas. We got Asteroid Coaster and Sweet Mountain. And you can pick either one. I'm gonna pick Sweet Mountain because I normally like to pick Sweet Mountain. I like this planet because it's essentially just a giant dessert. It's basically Candyland, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Oh, look at that. Alright, so... Time to address the elephant in the room, which you guys might have noticed, is the fact that uh, Sonic sounds, Sonic and Tails I should say, sound really different. Why is that? Well, because this game introduced new voice actors for the Sonic cast. Why? You know, that's the thing. I don't know, I don't know why. I guess they just, the my guess is, and from what I've heard people s speculate, it's just simply that the contracts of the others... That, yeah, the contracts for the previous voice actors just expired, and instead of renewing them, I guess they just decided to go with new voice actors. And I remember when this game first came out, there was a it was... It was a bit controversial because by then, like, everyone had gotten used to, you know, the four kid voice actors. And you know me, I've always said that Jason Griffith is my favorite Sonic voice. So naturally, when I heard the voice for Sonic in this game, I'ma die. Yeah, when I heard that. Sonic had a new voice actor in this game, I was not happy. And I remember he seeing videos of people just basically complaining about that, that they didn't like Sonic's new voice. And yeah, I... At the time, I really didn't like his voice. So, Sonic in this game is voiced by Roger Craig Smith. Uh, you guys might know him in some of his other more notable roles, so he played Chris Redfield in, for a while in the Resident Evil franchise. Uh, specifically, I know he put, voiced him in RE5 and RE6. I know he also- damn it, there's- okay. Oh man. Yeah, so he also voiced- Captain America in the video games. Uh, he voiced Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed. Kyle Crane in uh, Kyle Crane in uh, um, what's that game called? Damn it! I I know what it's called too because I played it. Dying Light. There we go. And he also voiced Batman in uh. In Arkham Warden, so he's pretty well known. But yeah, he voices Sonic uh, in this game, and he would pretty much go on to voice Sonic from this point, from this point out. Uh, but yeah, like I said, when I was when this game first came out, I was young. I was like what, ten years old? I yeah, I was like no, I was eleven when this game came out. And I just did not like Roger Craig Smith at all. Uh, at least as Sonic. I just wasn't really a huge fan of his Sonic voice because people have said that Roger Craig Smith's uh, voice, Sonic voice basically makes him sound older. And you gotta remember, Sonic is supposed to be like a 15 year old teenager. And. I mean, you hear him speak, he doesn't sound like he's young. He doesn't sound like a teenager. Uh, so we unlocked the newer Wisp, the Yellow Wisp. 
so now they'll be available in other areas. Yeah, here we are, Act 2. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it was, for me, it was kind of hard to, uh, what the hell, it was hard to just get used to Roger Craig Smith, I was kind of hoping when this game came out that it was just like a one-time thing, but unfortunately that would not be the case, uh, now that's not to hate on um, Roger Craig Smith. I actually do like him. He's a really good voice actor. And in fact, I would go on to his voice would go on to grow on me. Now, do I obviously I don't I still prefer Roger I still prefer Jason Jason Griffith and I think I would even prefer um I would prefer um What's the other one? I forgot his name. Ryan Drummond, there we go. But, so yeah, so of the three, I could say that Roger Craig Smith is my least favorite, but that's not to say I think he's bad or that I don't like his voice. I like it. I just think the other two do it better, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, like, like I said, when I was younger, I didn't like his voice, but over the years, his his voice has grown on me. And you guys will see when I when I start playing the other Sonic games. Now the the thing though, you might be wondering is if uh, if you guys may have noticed that uh, that Eggman, however, still has the same voice, which is uh, Mike Pollock. And he was part of the 4Kids cast, and yet he's still voicing Eggman while everyone else is voiced by someone else. Like, what's up with that? I think the reason for that is because I think I think Mike Polly just really knocks it out of the park with Eggman. Because uh, Eggman only ever had two voice actors, which is Dean Bristow, the guy who first voiced Dr. Eggman. In the adventure games, uh, and and then uh, after that was Mike Pollock, and I just think Mike Pollock really he really defined the voice of Eggman. I mean, you you hear him, you hear Eggman's, uh, you hear Mike Pollock's Eggman voice, and I think that's just Eggman. He does it perfectly. Dean Bristow is really good too. But I think my Paul, like, he is just a definitive Eggman, Eggman voice in my opinion. So I think that's why they decided to keep him. Cause, cause his voice is just that good for Eggman. But yeah, when this game did come out, there was a bit of controversy for that. Uh, there was a lot of like, there was a lot of negative reception from the fans with the with the voices, and there still it there still is to this day. I know there's a lot of Sonic fans that still don't like, uh, they still don't like Roger Craig Smith's voice all that much. And all I gotta say is like, guys, it, it's really not that bad. And if you're really expecting them to bring back the other two either the other two voice actors yeah that is just not gonna happen I'm sorry like that's just something that's just something you're gonna have to accept that that we're gonna have we're either gonna we're either gonna have to be cool with Roger Craig Smith and like the other cast of voice actors and let's say that for whatever reason uh, the new cast or the modern cast doesn't want to do the voices anymore, right? They're not gonna bring back any of the old. Yeah, they're not gonna bring back any of the old voice actors. What they'll most likely do is just hire new voice actors. That's just how it's gonna be. As much like, believe me. As much as I would love to 
see Jason Griffiths reprise the role of Sonic. I know that's never gonna happen. They, I think, they, I think Sonic Team would rather just hire a brand new voice actor to voice Sonic than hire an old one. Cause even like, even Ryan Drummond, he, I think like he's in the past has expressed, has expressed that he would. That he would love to voice Sonic once again. He would just love to, and I think he has tried, like reaching out to Sega, seeing if there's like any opportunities where he could voice Sonic again, and they just keep telling him, like, thanks, but we're good. We don't, we don't need you. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's just not gonna happen, guys. So, if, if for some reason you haven't been able to move on from that fact for what? It's been, at this point it would have been... Uh, this game came out in 2010, we're in 2024. It's been 14 years, guys. <laughs> at this point, if you're still hung up on that, you just gotta move on. I mean, 14 years is just crazy. You, Yeah, like, it's just... If they really wanted to change voice actors or bring any of the voice actors back, they would have already done it. They wouldn't keep renewing like the contracts if they didn't want it to be. They didn't want that to be the case. Okay, here we are, Act Four. So that's ba the big elephant in the room when it comes to this game. Now, I know the cutscenes don't look that good. I noticed that when I was watching them. But I, unfortunately, I think that's just a that's just a, a a product of the fact that this came out for the Wii. Oh man, not really much I can do about that. I did download a mod. Or I did download a an HD graphics texture pack that would uh that would make some of the yeah that would make some of the uh, that would make some of the textures of this game look better. So I did download that, and as always, the link for it will be in the description below. I also did uh yeah I also did apply a uh, 60 fps as fps patch for this game which you know is a uh, is to be expected because this game did come out for the Wii which didn't really have games running at 60 fps now we'll say as always this game does look way better with, with without the 30 fps slot So I am playing this game uh, on the Dolphin emulator. If you if you couldn't tell by now, and yeah, I know to some of you guys it might be obvious, but I bring it up because this game actually did get remastered like two years ago. Uh, it got remastered as Sonic Colors Ultimate, and it got released for modern hardware so this game was only exclusive like I said it was pretty much a Wii exclusive and before Sonic Colors Ultimate this game was pretty much stuck on the Wii so when the remaster came out it got ported to uh it got released to modern to modern hardware so the PS the PS4 and 5 the Xbox series the Xbox One... Wait, did it even get released for the PS4? I don't remember. Okay, I know for sure it came out for the PS5, Series X, and uh... And the Switch and PC. But, I chose not to get it because... From what I've heard... Sonic Colors Ultimate is just a really bad port, or it's just a really bad remaster of the game. 
Uh, so from what I know... One, the game doesn't really even look all that different. In fact, I've heard people say that it kind of looks worse than the original Wii version. They added a bunch of like... A bunch of new stuff that just kind of seemed useless and made the game easier so like this game has a life system which is you know standard sonic stuff but this game isn't really even all that hard but for some reason for colored ultimate they decided to add a instead of having the life system they added a a mechanic where if you die you collect I believe you collect like park tokens or something like that. I don't know. I never played it. But you collect stuff, right? And then when you die, Tails will essentially just like s respawn you exactly where you died. So it really just. So because of that, it essentially makes checkpoints useless. As you, as you see that this game has checkpoints, it has a checkpoint system. So, if Tails can pretty much bring you back wherever you die, um, yeah, the checkpoints are basically useless. It makes the game easy, there's no challenge here. So, like, if I were to fall right here, I think I'd spawn, like, right before that right before that death kill. So, it makes the game much easier, there's really no punishment for dying. And then apparently they added a... Uh, they added a mode where you can race Metal Sonic throughout the levels, which I don't know why, because I don't know, yeah, I don't know why they did that, considering that Metal Sonic doesn't even appear in this game's story for what, for any reason, but yeah, they decided to add him there. Why? I don't know. But even then, I heard, I heard that it's not even all that good. And, you know, also other stuff like, I think the game is just filled with a bunch of bugs. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Believe me, when I, when they announced Sonic Colors Ultimate, well, first I was a little confused, well, Actually no, I was gonna say I was a little confused because why, why ultimate of all the, cause, or why colors, because, because, um, Sonic Colors for that reason has the honor of being the first Sonic game to ever be remastered, technically, I mean I guess, I guess if you don't want to count any of like the, any of like the ports or remasters of the classic Sonic games, you know, like with things like the Sonic Mega Collection, the Mega Collection and the Gems Collection. I know there's like the mobile, the mobile HD remakes of the classic Sonic games, but I don't know. I don't. Well, I guess I'll say this is the first 3D Sonic game to get a to be remastered. So this game does have that honor, and in fact, I think it still holds that honor. I know they announced Sonic Generations and or Sonic and Shadow Generations, uh, but it still hasn't come out yet. So as of right now, this game is the only Sonic game to the only 3D Sonic game to receive. Uh, a remaster. So yeah, when when I heard that the Sonic Colors Ultimate wasn't all that good, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna save my money and just not get it. And the good thing is, I could always just play this game for free on Dolphin. And this is the apparently this is the superior version of this game, so. So yeah, I think I, I think I'm just happy sticking with the Wii version. But here we are, Act Six of Sweet Mountain.
<laughs> I will say, I like how, um... I do like that this game brought back the... the egg pawns as Eggman's main robot. Or, yeah, as Eggman's main robotic force, the robot design, because I think the last game... Yeah, I think the last Sonic game to officially have the Egg Pond as Eggman's like robot robot design was uh I think it was either Sonic Rush or Yeah, it was either actually Yeah, Sonic Rush had them. Yeah, it was Sonic it was Sonic Rush or Shadow the Hedgehog, which those both those games came out the same year. So that means it had been five years since Eggman had used this style of robots. Cause remember Sonic 06 had a more futuristic it had a more future sci-fi look to them. Um, Sonic and Sonic Unleashed had uh, the Egg Fighters, and then uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> All right, so here, here we are at the boss for Sweet Mountain. I just noticed I'm getting nothing but B's and C's here. If I was an alien in need of saving, where would I be? Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Huh? Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Visitors are cautioned to avoid eating, petting, or saving any animals. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot? You want to do this the hard way? Or the easy way. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's date. Oh, I love the boss theme for this for this boss. It goes hard. That's another thing I was gonna say right now. I love how this game brought back the the Eggman theme. You know, the one that was introduced in 06. It's just become like it's just become part of Eggman's identity by now. So for this bat uh, for this boss, we gotta defeat this robot right here. He's pretty easy to he's pretty easy to uh, to defeat. You just gotta wait for him to uh, attack. The battle's only just starting now, but he don't let him pressure you. Yeah, uh, just wait for him to attack, which I'm kind of doing a bad job at. And just when you can, uh, hit him with the homing attack. Or you can boost into him. Either one works. This guy isn't gonna show himself until you take care of that ship. There's a switch in the back. Break it to stop the ship's Oh man. Alright, there we go. What the hell? I need more, I think. Oh, he's defeated. Hey, I'll take that. 
Not an ass, but a nay is still good. Hey, Tails, you missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So. Yacker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember this translation stuff isn't a hundred percent. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hyper goons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. And you only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. A funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. <sighs> anyway, it seems an evil man, and you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power all their power and using it for an evil aquatic mammal an evil dolphin no a porpoise oh an evil purpose that's good intel keep working on it hey where are you going to find baldy mcnose hair of course <laughs> i'm totally calling him mcnose hair next stop Okay, so that's the sea mountain done. I found two more wisps there, the yellow wisp and the orange wisp. But I think this is a good time to stop. I mean, we were able to explore both Sweet Mountain and the Tropical Resort. So for sure, next time we're going to check out the Asteroid Coaster. Or Starlight Carnival. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh man, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, definitely check out the Starlight Carnival next time.